Hi planners, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my Molly Ollie tote. I use this to tote different things around the house, craft supplies, as well as my planning supplies, so that when I go from one room to another, I'm not having to try to carry everything one by one. I can keep everything in one spot and I can make sure that I don't lose my smaller craft supplies like pens and paper clips and things like that. So as you can see, it is not very organized. So I'm going to organize it on camera, chat with y'all a little bit, and and just talk about how this tote has been working for me and my routines and how it fits into my routine. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. And I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already with that little red button in the bottom right corner. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and let's get into this video. All right, so as previously mentioned, this tote has kind of gotten out of control. So I'm gonna take everything out and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like empty. And then I'm going to fill it back up with all of the planning supplies that I like to use on a regular basis. All right, so this is how the Molly Ollie Tote or Caddy looks empty. I've used it for a few months now. I wanted to wait until I actually use it so I can show you how it wears. So as you can see over here, just like a little lint, that's because I literally drag it around on the floor. So um, that is from wear and tear. So don't worry when you get it, it won't look like that. That's just because I'm a little bit rough with it, I'm not gonna lie. It has three pockets on one side. Then on the other side, it has one large pocket. You keep turning three more small pockets. And then on this side, it has a large pocket with a zipper and some space here to put different things you may need, different planning tools, whatever you wanna use this for, you can. Again, this is originally a diaper tote. So I'm sure some type of ointments and things like that would go in here, but I'm using it for crafting. Um, and I did look at other totes by planner companies and none of them appealed to me like this one. I just felt like this one was better. On the inside here, you can actually take out this part. It's Velcro. So you can take out this barrier. I like it. I think it creates some division in here and I like that a lot. But if you don't like that and you just wanna take this out, you can. You can also take it out here, okay, on both sides. So if you would like to remove that, you can totally do that. And then you'll just have an open tote and you can move those around as you please. So you can remove this one and this one if you want. And you know, that can help you to be able to customize it the way you want to. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and organize it and what I can fit in here. Also, if you are interested in this tote, of course, I'll put the link in the description below for the Amazon link. I did get this from Amazon, so I'll put that link in my description. So I'm actually really glad that I went ahead and did this because I feel like honestly there were a few things I was looking for and I couldn't find them and they ended up being in here like I was looking for this couldn't find it and it was in here so I'm actually pretty glad that I was able to go through it because there were a bunch of things that I was just thought I lost but they were really just like hidden in this tote so that is one thing I would suggest is like going through it every once in a while and making sure it's organized because there were like some things tucked in here that I didn't see so starting off I want to make sure I have a place for my planners I'm going to start with the big things first and I'm going to fill in with the smaller accessories so first of all I have my daily duo planner here and the way that this relates to my routines is that I like to use these planners pretty much every day so this helps me to kind of keep them in one spot so I'm gonna put my daily duo right there the next thing I'm going to put in here is my Erin Condren binder so I'm just gonna slide that in there I use this binder for my spiritual journaling all of my personal Bible study goes in here so I try to use this every day I do study in here I open my Bible up open my Bible app and I go in here and I study I have worksheets in here I have my daily scripture that I write in here my habit tracker all that so I'm pretty much touching this every day as well next we have my soft bound journal which is what I use for journaling I actually journal in this I don't um, I guess you could say I plan in it but I journal in it and that's kind of how I use it um, the actual layout looks like this but I write a few sentences in each day and I journal in here so I pretty much journal in here every day I might skip a day but then I make it up so that is a daily planner item next I have my iPad so I usually use my iPad 
for my daily scripture and things like that so I put that in there and when I'm not using it for that I like to sometimes like listen to podcasts or whatever watch um tv while I work if I'm doing paperwork so I just go ahead and pop that up on my desk and I do my music and stuff from here while I work on my work computer so that I don't have any interference so I sometimes use this for music and things like that so I have my iPad in there as well as for my bible app Next, I have my pen case. And to be completely honest, I don't think this is the best way to store my pens. I don't really know what would be better right now. I don't know what my plan is for them, but these are some of my pens and they're just kind of like everywhere. And I don't think that's what's best. I'm trying to figure out a better method of organizing them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. There's like this jumbo pen case by Erin Condren and it's flat. I think I'm gonna have to use one of those because this is just kind of like a free-for-all here and I don't know like it is a pencil case but like when I open it like if I'm on the couch sitting down and I open this there's just pens everywhere like it's no it's just kind of loose here so it works for now but I definitely want a better solution where like all the pens stay in one place so I'm gonna put those in there because I definitely use my pens every time I'm planning. And sometimes I want different pens, different colors. That's why I have different colors in there. So I, these are my like coloring, colorful pens in there. Next, I have my case of washi. Yes, it's a little OC right now. It's a little crazy in there. Um, a lot of washi and I'm actually looking for another organization system for my washi as well. So my goal is actually to get pens in both of these. like maybe rubber band some pens together that are alike and then just store them in both of these instead of having one with washi and one with pens. I am working on it, okay? <laughs> so we're working on that. And then this has like planning accessories. So like different tabs, I'll show you. So like these are like coil clip connectors. I have some post-it notes in here, some vellum notes. I have some um, tabs in here. And I also, yeah, like monthly tabs in here. I don't know if you can see those. Um, so that's what this is for. So it's just like accessories. I even have like, you know, a little on the go photo accessory. So I usually keep these in here just in case I need one of those little planning accessories. And then I have my pens that I just like to grab. Now I had too many of these pens in there before. Like I had four S gels. I don't need four Sharpie S gel pens in here. So I'm going to get rid of all of three of them so i'm just going to keep this one these two write the same so i don't feel like even though they're different colors i don't need both of them they write the same so i'm going to put one in here on the side pocket and then this is my dual tip and as you probably saw earlier i also have these markers and highlighters so yeah <laughs> go ahead and i'm going to put these um on my desk because I just feel like I don't need them in this tote and if I need if I want to use these I'll grab them and I don't think I'll forget to grab them if I need them but I don't know they kind of fit in here let's see let's see how well they fit in this side pocket fit pretty good in the side pocket I just don't want to just throw them in the tote because then I feel like I'll forget about them so I'm trying to figure out a better solution. Here's what I'll do. I have a couple duplicates in colors. So what I'll do is I'll make sure there are no, like if you see there are two greens, I'm going to make sure there are no duplicates and redo them and try to get it down to just one case. All right, so I think I got all the duplicates out. So now these are the duplicates. These are the ones that I'm actually going to use. And I'm just gonna put this in here. So there we go, we got more pins. Um, because I'm a crazy pen lady and I'm going to put the pen it actually goes with like they actually go in this pen I put that on the side I do use that quite a bit so I use it um I use different pens for different things you know and then I have this um Villa Beautiful pen that I use every day in my journal I use it for this journal so I'm just going to put that on the side here as well then I have a bookmark, which was just like chilling all willy nilly, but I actually use this to cut washi with. So I actually do use this when I am planning to cut washi with. So I'm gonna actually just put it, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put it with the other accessories. So I'll just go ahead and put that in here because it just, these are where the coil connectors are and things like that. I think it just makes sense to be in there. I'll, that's where I would probably look for it. And now I have more post-it notes here. And I actually do use these post-it notes, so I'm going to go ahead and put them inside of here. And I think I'm gonna put them in these two pockets here. So they fit perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. 
they fit perfectly in that pocket so i'm gonna put both of them in each pocket or one of them in each pocket look at that perfect fit so if you want somewhere to put those this is the perfect fit just so you know for my next item i have this pocket scissors now the reason why it's still in the package is because i haven't needed to use it yet also because i have these this already and i can't find it like this is a a second one that i have and i know i have the first one somewhere and i i don't want to find it so i don't want to take it out the packaging if i find it but if i need to use it i'll just use it i won't worry about it so i'm going to go ahead and put this in the side pocket here i'm going to go ahead and zip this side up and one other thing i'm going to do is i haven't been using my planning pack a whole lot lately i use it sometimes and i make sure it's on my planner when i'm doing videos because a lot of y'all like to see it but i'm going to go ahead and put my planner in here now because it protects my planner it keeps it cute and why not right like i already have it i've, I've been using it but i just kind of fell off with putting my planner in here so there we go we have that in there and <laughs> Just two more, just two more. My Petite Planner. I often switch between the Daily Duo and the Petite Planner. My other Daily Planner, I don't plan in both of them at the same time, but I alternate weeks because y'all wanna see me alternate weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here next to the soft bound. See, they're about the same size. And then last but not least, my Plum Paper Social Media Planner. This is what I use for social media planning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. All right, and this way I'll know which is which when I'm just grabbing real quick. I'll know this is a Daily Duo and this is the Plum Paper Planner. And they are in here. And I actually do have another case. So if I wanted to, I might just go ahead and do that. I have a case for this one too. This is the design on my other case. It is blue and pink. I just thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Plum Paper Planner in here actually. All right, so I have a pet planner in here. And now... My planners are protected. They're in there nice and snug. I still have room, if you can see. There's still room here, so things are moving easily. When I pull this out, it doesn't knock the other one out. Like when I pull them, there's room to pull each one individually. That is my washi, that's my pans, this is my accessory, my soft bound planner, my daily petite planner, my iPad, my plum paper planner, my binder, and my daily duo planner. Boom, there we go. And when I do my vertical spreads, I have them in this binder as well. So if you're thinking about that, I have my vertical spreads in here. So this is my lineup right now. And yeah, I'm gonna try out some more planners this year, but um, we're early, it's March. Um, but this is what's been working for me so far this month and what I've been consistent with. So I just wanted to show you how I fill this baby up and how much room it has. And like, you, like I said, there's still room in this side, right? There's still room here. There's still room in this pocket. So if I wanted to move all my pens to inside this pocket, I could. But I want I want them to be visible so I can see that I have pens to work with. And then this side over here has three more pockets that I could put things inside. All I have in this pocket over here are the pocket scissors. So there's plenty of room here. I almost forgot one thing. I do have some inserts from my binder here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here just because I like to have my inserts on hand when I'm planning in my binder. This really is like for my binder, y'all. Like I, this is like my part of my routine for my studying, my Bible study. This is really like this whole binder <laughs> is mostly used for my Bible study. I come and grab it before Bible study. I go to my living room, turn on Zoom and, you know, have my meeting and everything. And so when I pick it up, it is a little heavy. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's a little heavy, but I'm not dragging it in every room every day so it doesn't bother me and it's still easier than trying to bring these things individually into the living room and just going from my office to the living room and just picking it up and taking it in there it's not that heavy it is heavy I wouldn't be taking this like to work every day or anything like that but it's not because of the tote it's because of the items I have in here so just putting that out there and I'll do a quick little video overview so you can see it from all angles all right y'all this is the tote from another angle so you can really see it, see the detailing, see the color. 
And this tote, I'm, I'm serious, like it's been helping me a lot with my routines because everything I need is in one spot. And I actually keep this underneath my desk when I'm not um, using it in the living room. So it's usually at the living room or at my desk. But even if I wanted to like plan in bed or something, this has pretty much everything I need. Only thing I don't have in here is stickers. And that's because I usually grab a sticker book and throw it in here right before I go plan in the living room. So if I need a certain sticker book, I'll grab it and throw it in here right before. But this is what stays in here pretty much at all times. This is the home for my daily planners. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you that. Um, if you are interested in this tote or any of these items, please let me know. I put most of the links in the description below. But if there's any product that you have a question about, let me know. And I'll go ahead and put that link in there for you. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. Because that is who gets my content first are my Instagram followers. So make sure you go ahead and check out my Instagram at Cloetry Plans. And I will see you all in the next video.